It's crazy to think that for 25 years, dating was a complete struggle for me. But then I figured things out, and in the blink of an eye, I'll be approaching 5 years with my current girlfriend. Fall is here and cuffing season is in full effect. I spent many cuffing seasons alone and disappointed because of numerous Ow. conversations and dates not panning out to anything. And then that progressed into many short term flings where I was able to get some action, but I couldn't meet their expectations or date mine. But that wasn't all for nothing as I held on to everything that I learned so that when I met my girlfriend, I was able to nurture our relationship to where it is today. So in this video, I'm going to cover the three key questions from my dating journey that I had to answer to not just get my girlfriend, but to build a strong foundation for a relationship that can last the rest of our lives. If you're still single and you think that getting a girlfriend will complete your life, I'm here to tell you that it's not as simple as you think it is. So the first question you have to ask yourself is, are you giving yourself enough opportunities to find a potential girlfriend? If you're not talking to girls or putting yourself out there, then how can you expect to get anything? That was how I was my whole life until I first started my dating journey at 22 years old by creating a meme profile on Tinder. I had absolutely no expectations whatsoever. I just wanted to see how things were and I wasn't completely useless in this realm. So when I got my first match, I was pleasantly surprised to see that it was someone that I found attractive and was talking back to me. I asked her out, set up a date, and my head was in the clouds because I couldn't believe that I was about to 0 to 100 my dating life on my very first try. But I messed that up from being cringe and she flaked on me. I was completely devastated over how little it took to destroy what could have been. I would spend the next couple of years chasing to be in that position again. I had limited options and treated them seriously because I was desperate for the experience. I would spend day after day watching this other person openly disrespect me, waste my time, and reject my advances while still believing that I had a chance. All of this started making me jaded. I did end up matching with that very first girl again, and while she was cordial, I took that chance to take revenge instead of the second chance. By this point, I had been leveling up in all other aspects of life. I got strong as hell, landed a well-paying job, and developed many great relationships outside of dating apps. I was also becoming a lot more sensible about my expectations and stopped projecting past wherever the interactions were. A conversation was just a conversation. A date was just a date. Nothing more, nothing less. I improved my dating profiles as well and things were looking up now. I was having better dates with more attractive women, but I was still failing them because I didn't know how to close and I had to feel regret over and over. So once I finally overcame that and completed a full dating experience, everything changed for me. Now I could stop selling for less than I wanted. I didn't have to lower my standards or be desperate anymore. I had leverage over my dating life. And after interacting with hundreds of girls at different stages, I knew what I wanted to see during dates, didn't invest my self-worth into how things went anymore, and stopped tolerating BS. I would only go out with those that I chose, push the first date as far as I could, and then go from there. I had options and I knew how to vet them. The next question you have to ask yourself is, are you going to compromise who you are once you find someone to be with? Can you uphold your values and stay true to yourself? When I first matched and chatted with my girlfriend, I treated her just like everyone else. I played my game, got her number, but we never got anything set up. So I unmatched her and moved on with my life. A month later, she would drunkenly call me on Christmas Eve and I treated her as she was a secondary option. If she really wanted to see me, it would be on my terms and my time. She would have to wait until I come back into town and then come straight over to my place. No dinner and no drinks. Hey, do you want to, you know, go have some drink? You was like, no. It all sounds pretty harsh, but from my point of view, that's just part of the volatility in modern dating. And there's nothing to take seriously until she's right in front of me. I was actually surprised that she even decided to show up. But once she did, I could treat her like an actual person and we had ourselves a good time. I stayed grounded and kept things as they were. She was just the first date, now let's go for a second and see what happens. I took her out on Valentine's Day for our third date. On our fourth date, just one month or so after meeting her, she told me that she loved me. No! And at that point, I had to make it clear where I stood. I still barely knew her and was nowhere close to feeling the same way, but I still wanted to keep seeing her to see if we could build up to it. I knew that I was risking what little we had, but I had to make sure that she wanted to be with me for me not just to provide good feelings or fulfill a role. So I gave her some space to make a decision and we continued to see each other after that. I became her boyfriend and started to incorporate her into my life more. And we're still going on strong years later because I stood up for myself and set the foundation for our relationship to grow naturally. I stayed true to who I was and I allowed her to be herself. I was able to stay rational and enforce strong values such as equity, patience, 
and open communication. But I also learned how to compromise and become someone different for her sake. I grew up in a family that showed very little affection and I had to learn how to do that for her. When we had arguments, I had to sometimes concede them so we could reset our emotional states and get back to tackling the real issue. And as much as I'd like to stay at home and work on YouTube videos, I have to take her out every once in a while to keep her entertained. When you're single and on your own, you'll have a good amount of freedom on what to do with your resources such as time, energy, and money. But once you have a girl, she'll expect you to dedicate some of those to create fulfillment within the relationship. You don't want to devalue yourself as that'll just make you someone who gets taken advantage of. It's dangerous to concede values and resources to someone who doesn't even like you that much as a relationship built off of that won't do you well or last long. Your bond won't be as strong as a bridge, but as loose as a carrot on a stick. You need to set your boundaries. You need to value your worth. You need to make your commitment to a relationship valuable, because if not, it will fall apart quickly and easily. Don't give the first girl that accepts you all of the credit. Make her earn her place in your life. And the last question you have to ask yourself is, are you going into a relationship to build up to something? Because once you get yourself into one, is she just supposed to submit to you and be this piece of a puzzle to complete your life? What about your role in hers? If you don't really have any extensive plans, then that's fine. But if you really want a relationship to go the distance, then it has to build up to something. It has to have some long-term meaning. Short-term relationships can be a good way to develop your values and gain some experience. But the biggest reason why they end is because someone will always want more compromises will have to be made. Like I said in the last point, I set my boundaries with my values. I value authenticity, rationality, and good communication. And I can be adaptable with being more emotional and vulnerable. I also value my independence in making mostly reasonable financial decisions, but I became much more flexible in those aspects to create fulfillment for my girlfriend. And throughout our relationship, we have had many discussions on our futures and if our intentions are aligned. She wants the traditional housewife scenario. I want to ensure that we have financial, emotional, and mental foundations built. These were things that we touched upon loosely in the early stages, but years later, they are now at the forefront. Relationships need to evolve over time. When you have a girlfriend, you need to be constantly thinking about whether or not she can be more than that. Because as it stands, our relationship is waiting on me, but the foundation is built on so far is excellent. She doesn't want to just be a wife, she wants to be my wife and have babies with me. And because of her authentic affection for me, I want her to be the one that I make a family with. All that's left is for me to create this financial foundation and then we'll be there. And to think that I used to be a guy who would only look at things one date at a time. If you're not going to date seriously, that's fine. But if you want to build a fulfilling and lasting relationship, then you need to put the work in. You need to build yourself up and stand on your values. The truth is that even though I preach all of this dating, attraction, and seduction stuff, all of it is just a means to an end. But it's important that you learn them so you can leverage your options and find the best person for you. You may not find them right away, but take anything that you learn to heart and carry it on until it works out. I just want to be happy, bro. And I would want the same for you too. So that's it for this video. If you're still here, I appreciate you as always. And you should like, subscribe if you haven't already, and let me know what you guys think in the comments. Join the Discord server and don't forget to sign up for my exclusive community to get based in more dates and apply to work with me if you want to fast track your way to getting your dating life sorted out. As always, stay based and let's have ourselves a great cuffing season. Bye bye <laughs>